Stan Gibalisco here. Let's look at the concept of phase in an alternating current sine wave and how phase can be represented as a vector quantity that rotates around and around and around. There's a useful purpose for that uh, in engineering and in physics. I discuss this in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics in chapter 12 of the fifth edition. You'll find this uh, discussion beginning on page 202. The chapter itself begins on page 200 and you'll find as we as you go through the chapter that it describes how phase works in an AC sine wave in terms of positions on the wave. Here is a, a stereotypical AC sine wave, the instantaneous amplitude, voltage usually, positive going up, negative going down, varies with time according to a, some version of the trigonometric sine function, some multiple of that function. You can always boil this function down to the mathematical sine function. That's where the term sine wave comes from. Sine, S-I-N-E, sine wave. Also known as a sinusoid. Either of these two things means the same uh, means the same thing. It means a wave just like this. Let's suppose that we start at zero amplitude going positively and we call that point A. That is zero degrees of phase and we can represent that on a polar coordinate plane as a vector pointing in the zero degree direction which in the mathematician's polar coordinate plane goes off towards the right or east if you want to call it a compass direction like that angles increase going counterclockwise 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 120 180 270 all the way around to 360 which is the beginning of the next cycle and we start again at zero so this vector a represents the wave at this point. Now why is the vector a certain length even though this amplitude is zero? Well we'll get to that in a minute. The, the length of the vectors in this coordinate plane they're all the same and they all represent the maximum instantaneous amplitude which occurs here at point B which is one quarter of the way through the cycle or 90 degrees. That co coincides in this drawing here to the vector B pointing straight up 90 degrees. So as we move along the curve from A to B this vector maintains its length but it rotates counterclockwise at a constant angular speed until we get to the 90 degree point. That instantaneous amplitude right there is what determines the length of the vector. The frequency of this wave, how fast it alternates, determines how fast this vector goes around and around. After we pass point B and we continue along the curve to the half cycle point, we reach point C, 180 degrees of phase. Now the vector points straight off towards the left to the 180 degree marker on the polar coordinate plane. Same length, same angular speed, halfway around, halfway through the cycle. As we continue, the voltage becomes negative, finally peaking at the 270 degree phase point at a maximum negative peak voltage represented here by point D. That vector has continued to rotate and now points straight down or south 
if you like compass directions. As we continue and finish up the cycle getting back once again to the zero amplitude positive going point. That we can call 360 degrees if we want to talk about the end of the cycle or zero degrees if we want to think of this wave simply repeating itself again. Now there are times when different uh, when angles of phase greater than 360 degrees become relevant or negative phase angles can also become relevant but we can define one complete cycle of a sine wave simply by one revolution around this coordinate plane from 0 through 90 quarter of a cycle through 180 degrees a half a cycle through 270 degrees, three quarters of a cycle, and back again to zero, where we start the next cycle. So that is the mathematical rendition of how all of this fits together. This is the sine wave curve graph model, amplitude versus time. This is the polar vector model which shows phase as a function of time. The angle going counterclockwise representing the time in degrees of phase like that. So that's how the vector model works. Now in waves other than sine waves this vector might change length as we go around and around. Irregular waves, square waves, uh, and sawtooth waves, triangular waves, this vector will change length as it goes around this plane. But that's a much more complicated scenario. The vector model is most often used for sine waves only. Once again, this is all discussed in Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. And I believe it's discussed in all editions of the book. I have the fifth edition before me right now, and this vector diagram appears on page 204. This sine wave diagram on page 205. Hope that helps you understand this concept and you can move forward with alternating current theory. Stan Jabalisco, signing off.